Hi, yeah. Um, so I just got back from well, been to group today, and I lost um two and a half pounds, which meant that I am now um ten stone eight and a half pounds, which is really good news because I'm now back in my target range. My target was ten stone seven, so it means that I'm just a pound and a half above my kind of well my target figure. So it's really positive. Um, and because I'm 10 stone 8.5, that also means that I've um, lost my 3 stone and back again. So I'd already got there in the past, um, put a few pounds back on, but I'm back down to there now. So really good. And I, um, Jane Day, um, was saying about the Target book. And I saw that uh, Debbie had done a video about it, but I didn't actually watch the video yet. Um, because hard to find out where's the videos <laughs> um it's lifetime lifetime now what's the word it's holidays holiday time now so it means that um uh, it's sort of routine is slightly different um but i've got it's a little bit more time um available but i've got this book which is the slim for life book Jane Day said that she um she had a copy that if I needed in case my consultant didn't give us any but this week she did which was quite nice because I hit target um today and she had the books so I got one that's quite nice it's very big it's really quite thick quite a thick book but I think it's got, it's so good it's got a planner in there as well um, and I think the big thing, because I know what Jane was saying about Savvy Sins, and I, I really am very aware that, um, looking at it, that's exactly, that's exactly what I like to do. And I think it's really nice to have a piece of literature from Slimming World that talks about it. Because, um, I think I understand why they don't generally, in the, in the kind of the, um, the normal day-to-day -day plan because they want to make it as easy as possible no pressure no worries no worrying whether you're eating the types of foods or whatever just get the weight off uh move on don't worry about it too much um but it is lovely to have a book that talks about that because the other slim for life book was good a good book um about it because it talks about obviously you know basically it says do do the same thing as what you've been doing just add a healthy extra here and there. But it's fascinating talking about kind of the different routes, obviously. I don't, I think for me personally, I'm just going to stick to exactly what I'm doing anyway. I had been doing one A, two A's and two B's. And Jane and um, Susan said about having just do, they'll just do the one um, instead of having two, just to see if you can help yourself out a little bit, just do extra easy for a little while because I'd been sort of doing the green plan previously so I'm going to stick to just doing one A and one B um, and just see where that takes me next um, so there's a little bit of me would just like to travel right down to the bottom end of my target um, just to give myself a bit of breathing space really rather than uh, hovering around the top because it's it, life gets hard and then suddenly you um you're lost again, so I want to get down the bottom end. Um, so, yeah, it was interesting about the Savvy Sins. I'll turn to the Savvy Sins page. Um, but also it's fascinating what they said about um, the very far end, that eventually you'd become a, uh, in a situation where you... Um, oh, I just realised Isabel, just looked at the end there, Isabel Kennedy... The uh, consultant now. <clears throat> I think she does have a YouTube channel because I know she'd got a. Uh, she was um a diamond diamond member. She was like youngest loser, I think, something like that. <clears throat> That's nice. Um. So. Yeah, pretty good. I'm happy for her. Um, uh, and, oh, I was going to say, 
yeah, it's fascinating saying that. Uh, as time goes on, you wouldn't need to count anything. So, um, once you've kind of really got a target and really got yourself settled into some really, you know, confident uh, habits that you would just fill up on free food and speed, speed free food as usual and incorporate healthy extras as needed. Um, but don't worry about counting them, weighing them or measuring them unless you're choosing high fat bars, cheese or nuts or seeds so that you wouldn't count milk and wouldn't count. So you, I, I understand that's just kind of giving you a bit more flexibility but I don't know whether I want to go down that route because I wouldn't know I quite like knowing sort of what I'm putting in there so that I'm more confident. Um, once a day, allow yourself one portion of a less healthy choice if you want it. No need to count sins, really. Um, let your food optimising expertise, your common sense and your self-awareness guide you. So if you're off to a pizza restaurant with a family, they enjoy pizza and say no thanks to dessert. If you'd love a piece of birthday cake at a friend's party, join in, then stick to free food and healthy extras the rest of the day. Some days you might not want anything beyond that healthy, nutritious, free food. It's all about balance. I don't think I'd enjoy to do that because I do quite like to spread my sins over the day. I like to um, kind of just have a few olives here or uh, have some popcorn there. And I like to be able to, sp I like to be able to, with my sins, split it into three. So there's a, I tend to do it where I have a five sin slot another five sin slot and then a few extra tiny sins or something like that little individual sins so the olives tend to sit in there um and that kind of one sin for six olives so that was interesting that eventually you don't have to count it i think i'd probably still choose to count it i mean unless i'm very confident at the other end but um, i sort of gone through the process of sort of being a bit more flexible with it um i suppose it is a good way but I, it doesn't it's not too much effort or too much um trickiness to have a quick count of it in your head um so that, you know because you sort of know what things are that's why that's why i tend to do the five 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 sit you know thing because basically i know that it's three times a day then i have some sins sort of thing so um, I, I, I'm usually under it because that last five sins, I, you know, that'll be a, um, some olives or whatever, and I'll just class it as because I've had the sins. That's just like a five. I tend to over, overestimate. Um, yeah, and it says if you um, to the very last, here's the last page. Yeah, we're at thirteen and beyond. Um, beyond the scales. So you'll be welcomed with open arms at any Slimming World group each and every week for the rest of your life and free of charge while you remain within three pounds of your target weight. And if weighing yourself weekly, fortnightly or monthly keeps you accountable and in control, then keep doing it. However, there may come a time in a few weeks, months or years where actually you don't need to come to group anymore. And that's ultimately what we want for all our target members in the longer term. Most naturally slim people weigh themselves once in a while, whether it's for a routine health check or because they feel their clothes are becoming a little snug. Christmas and holidays are the usual culprits. And if you think about it, that's a really healthy way to live life, calmly trusting that all the great habits and self-awareness you gain throughout your slimming journey and your maintenance journey will keep you at or around your dream weight forever. The choice, as always, is absolutely yours. And it says, so there you go. The secrets to staying slim for, life, slim for life from our very own members who are doing just that. You might recognise some of these habits in your own everyday life and that's a great foundation for holding on to your slim success. And if you're not quite there yet, intrinsically following food optimising principles, getting active every day and embracing your new life as a target member, your group will support you into that groove. So ultimately, there'll be a point where I don't have to weigh myself once a week and I don't have to count sins and I don't have to count healthy extras because I'll just naturally do it and I'm aware that my habits that I'm trying to ingrain with my weekly food uh, just being the same each week is a way of me trying to 
get into some habits so all I do is just naturally follow it which I'm aware that I'm already I'm already trying to implement something like that so that I'm I don't have to think um how much milk have I used today because I know that generally I might have five or six coffees and therefore that's the same amount of milk that would be normally used in that so I know that I'd, I understand that I'm already doing lots of those types of things where you you just you don't necessarily have to count it because you already know that you don't use milk in cereals so therefore you'll only be a little bit here and there for milks and for coffees um, which I think is a good idea and, and I think it's an interesting it's interesting to have it written down in Slimming World so that because often these things that you sort of you sort of do but you, because it's so far removed from extra easy and the, the traditional plan sometimes you do feel a little bit like you're not doing it properly and maybe you should be doing it better whereas this kind of gives me a bit of um, confidence that my choice making is is okay it's okay to do it like this it's okay to kind of be aware that yeah and be aware that I've used a certain amount of milk for coffees and therefore that'll be okay and I'll know that a, a splash is you know a sensible size splash and if you're using whole milk then you'll need to use a little bit less than um, skimmed milk or stuff like that so Yes, it's interesting. It feels like it's giving me permission to live my life, which is nice. This is the Savvy Sins page, um, which was most interesting to me as well, because I do, I rather use my sins um, for Savvy Sins, um, because um, firstly, I like sins that I use where they're going to fill me up, because I'm very aware that I don't like to use sins if for... Um, food purposes <laughs> makes any sense. I don't want to use my sins up to try and fill myself up if I'm hungry because it doesn't. Sins generally don't do that job. Whereas uh, adding them into a meal does the job because of the free food and the speed food. You can eat plentiful amounts so you feel full. Um, so that's where I would add olives to the pasta and veg I make. So it's just one sin for six olives. Says it was one sin for five olives, but it isn't one sin for six. So, um, I tend to have that with the pasta. Um, but I wouldn't just have six olives by themselves because they really wouldn't fill me up. <laughs> so, I have it with um, free food and speed food. Um, I try, I've been having breadsticks, little pack of breadsticks recently, uh, because obviously we're in holiday mode now where the kids are at home so I'm going to have to ha I have to have more food for them at home now because obviously I'm feeding them all of their three meals um, uh, and we don't go into the field anymore so we don't have snack opportunities there so I'm going to have to yeah have to have snacks in the house so what I've decided is I won't have crisps in the house I should have those little packets of breadsticks which are four sins for a pack um, but if we had some on Sunday where it was uh, uh, some sandwiches um, and a packet of breadsticks and we had some hummus as well. So um, that worked quite well because the breadstick pack is not quite as moorish as some crisps. Um, and having it in a pack rather than a tube where you can kind of keep eating. Everybody had their own pack of breadsticks um, and that worked well and everybody had their own individual packs. And that for me in my head, that's four sins for breadsticks. But in my head, that that uses up a block of five sins. So again, I'm saying about the five sins in three blocks. And if it's four sins, I tend to just count it as five. I don't see it as a an extra one I can then utilise for the next one. I just kind of chuck that one, <laughs> chuck that five sin block away. Um, so it's almost like I don't. Uh, it's an easier way for my for my brain to kind of remember what sins I've had if it's just in, in blocks throughout the day throughout the day. Um yeah and also I got some popcorn uh sweet and salted popcorn from um Lidl's but of course they do it in a giant pack rather than individual packs uh, but I got back and I just apportioned it out into individual packs and wrote the sin value on them. And the popcorn's quite good because you get more 
for your sins. So you'll put some in a three sin packet, excuse me, which is 13 grams of popcorn, and some in a 20 gram, um, 20 gram amount, and that was five sins, and there was one pack that was six sins, which was 25 gram. It just seems a lot of popcorn, and I think because you do tend to eat the whole lot, don't you, um, in a in a go, uh, because packets don't you? It was like a little zip topped um, freezer bag that I get from the local drugstore. Um, they work really well because I thought they'd be like packets of crisps. Um, there's lo- they got lo- I got loads out of that packet. Maybe like 15 little packs of popcorn out of this um, like 99p. So I was, I was very impressed with that. And of course popcorn is a little bit easier than crisps because it's ever so slightly mildly more filling. Uh, especially if you haven't with a piece of fruit or something. Um, but again, I decided with the six sin bag to not do another one of those because, of course, it's it it bumps over my five sin allowance in my head that if it's six sins, it it's like a bit too much all in one go. So I like to sort of have about five sins as a bracket. So I made some five sin bags instead. So it also talks about that's in here about knowing your danger zones about and your trigger points and um sometimes you do end up being around kids and you end up eating things so just trying to make sure not having the stuff in the house that's going to um make it harder for me to make uh long-term choices um it also so it talks here about um avocado dried fruit and pure fruit juice and a corn flour uh, a few olives or some hummus from the sharing plate when you're out. Um, so uh, a much less risky choice than the chunky white bread and butter. Or a salad box from the service station when you're lunching on the run. Um, and I think the salad box from the service station would be something like, you know, um, talking about where you mostly have free food and speed food with it and then just a few extra sins on, on it so that you're having sins but you're having it as part of a meal so that it's more likely to fill you up. Um, these are all everyday, generally lower risk sins, and they're all a great way to open out your food choices in a safe and controlled way. Now you're no longer losing weight. And we've suggested a few savvy sin choices over the page. Still weighed, measured, and counted using the average values in your food optimizing book as usual, and we've left spend plenty of space for you to add your own. You probably already have an idea of these, the foods that you find help you stay in healthy routines without going back for more and more and the sins that free you up when you're out eating out or throwing together a quick meal and on the side sins that give you your free food with a a little extra oomph without doing the same for your waistline um yes it says uh Savvy sins are provide some beneficial nutrients or are more satisfying than other sins and tend to be safer choices for most. They're less likely to catapult you back into old ways of eating that cause you to gain weight in the first place. Um, and I have I have steered mostly towards those. I I, I have t- I don't particularly I will eat I will eat chocolate. Um, and I have gone down the route of no sugar and and vegan for quite a little while, but I decided to make it easy on myself and not too much pressure on myself but I have felt very naturally I did start to eat sugar again but have felt very naturally it all just just slide back away again I don't I don't want to choose chocolate not not now now it's not because it's got sugar in it's more that it's not going to fill me up at all it's going to leave me wanting um and I think I spent quite a long time without sugar which meant that I lost a bit of my taste for it um don't get me wrong i do still enjoy it every now and again and i I do enjoy it uh but it's not something that calls to me so much anymore because it just i've 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 now had the opportunity to have other um experiences so that's really helped um so even with the hi-fi bars i still get hi-fi bars but i have chosen to have the salted caramel ones because the chocolate ones although they're nice they just don't really <laughs> they fill me up <laughs> in any way, shape or form. They are not satisfying. I don't enjoy them. Um, 
so that's tend to be why I yeah tend to use I don't haven't done avocado for a while, um, but it's hard to avocado do avocado unless you've got a specific dish in mind, and so I'd have to build it into a meal or a, a lunch time, which might be nice on a Sunday actually because we have a Sunday, um, we've had stamp we have sandwiches now on a Sunday lunch time, and an evening meal of the roast veg. So the sandwiches might be nice to bring some avocado back into it. That would be a good opportunity to have avocado. The The way in which I um, I'm really appreciate at the moment, the way I'm doing my routine with my meals is the fact that I'm having the same thing each week. So I can really, really refine what I'm enjoying. So, uh, for example, last night, we last sun so the Sunday night we normally have um Slimming World chips, Slimming World carrot chips and potato chips and we would have sausages and beans and roasted onion and roasted courgette. But I really fancied mashed potato. I was trying to think of where I would put mashed potato in my week and I realised last night it was perfect time for mashed potato because you know, instead of the Slimming World chips I have mashed potato. So so the the way in which I thought I was a bit worried that I was limiting myself by having the same routine every single week actually has given me more flexibility. So I can think, oh, I quite miss eating this. And I can think, OK, I miss eating that. I'll build it into my routine. I'll just take something out, put that one in instead. And if I'm not enjoying that, I should take it back out, put it, the other one back in. Or I can tinker it so that although it's the same Although it's the same thing week week on week, it's always going to be ever so slightly different because there'll be some, you know, some as as the winter approaches, there'll be more, um, I don't know, that, uh, I don't know what else might, might change, but um, I don't know, <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to think of a feed that at the moment I'm quite interested in uh, having a bit more of. Uh, butternut squash don't have a lot of butternut squash so there might be a little bit of me thinking oh, where can I put butternut squash got some pumpkins growing outside so maybe in the cur in the curry on the Thursday pumpkin might go in there so I feel like um it's a really good book uh, I've been really enjoying this it's a fascinating um read in terms of thinking about where like setting myself up um for the future thinking about um uh kind of very affirming because i'm doing quite a lot of the things already the savvy sins again is lovely to read about because it feels like i'm already doing that and that feels that um, makes what's the word like um gives some well, sort of credit for doing it or the vet can you get say pat yourself on the back and pat myself on the back for already already living the plan using savvy sins um and i'm that's that's a really that's a really confident thing that that's what i already do it's got some interesting habits here as well uh in my habit that you tick off that you might um already have achieved which is uh, i'm in the habit of eating fruit and veg between meals now I vary my free food choices throughout the week. At meal times, I instinctively fill at least a third of my plate with speed food. I choose higher fibre breads, such as wholemeal. I naturally control my healthy extra portion sizes. I choose diet or sugar-free drinks rather than sugary ones. Um, when I eat in restaurants, I tend to choose a healthy option. And I know my tipping point with alcohol. I give myself an upper limit with alcohol and stick to it like glue. I use sweetener instead of sugar. I make a basic meal plan and a shopping list every week. I think about what I'll be spending my sins on at the start of each day. During the day, I'm very mindful of which foods to choose and which to limit or avoid. I make sure I fit activity into my routine most days. I don't feel guilty when I go off track. I draw the line and move on. I know what my trigger foods are and I know how to protect myself. I'm aware of how I might subconsciously sabotage myself. I look out for times when this might happen and I have strategies to protect myself. I spread my sins throughout the week rather than saving them for a treat day the weekend. 
and it, all of those ones you can choose either always, mostly, sometimes, rarely and never and have a little look at your habits. So it is um, interesting. <laughs> I realise as well that I bring, I did, I brought some coffee up and that's gone back cold again. I've got these new mugs and they're microwavable so they're very helpful because I keep getting my coffee and then I just go and microwave it back up again which is a handy way of um, not having to reuse the milk. But also I do find if I do want another cup of coffee and I do have a little bit left in, I can just put another spoon of coffee in and top it up with the water and I don't have to add any more milk in. Because then it's always got a little bit of residue milk left anyway. Okay, I'm going to go now and um, I will upload this and I will see you um, next week, I suppose, because I can see how we get on next week. So 10 stone, eight and a half today and then I'd like to be able to lose a little bit more next week just to get myself further down we'll see what happens okay lots of love to everybody see you soon bye